Hello, this is Sebastian with iPhoneDownloadBlog.com and today I want to talk to you about how to create an iTunes account without a credit card. So today is October 18th, I just created a post, I just published a post on the blog iPhoneDownloadBlog.com uh, This post is called How to Create, uh, create an iTunes without a credit card so if, for example, you um, live in a country um, where you can't download certain applications or um, if you don't have a credit card, if you live in the US and don't have a credit card or don't want to give your credit card number to um, iTunes and Apple, you may want to try this. Um, this is totally legal. This is not a hack. Um, you're not going to be able to download free music or anything like that. Um, it's just a way to um, get around um, the payment method um, and so you can download free applications for your, your iPhone or iPod Touch. You can um, get podcasts, free podcasts and um, you can also download the free song of the week or something like that. But again, it's totally legit, totally legal. Uh, you're not going to be able to get tons of uh, free music from uh, from Apple. Um, so let's see how how you do this. Um, I'm gonna go, go through some of the steps with you. We are current right now on the home page of iTunes. See we are we I have opened iTunes. So what I want to do now is um, I already have an iTunes account so some of the stuff might not be applicable for me. But you can go to the bottom of the page and let's say you live in I don't know, uh, let's say you live in somewhere where they speak English. Uh, well, let's do South Africa again. I use South Africa for the tutorial on the blog. So South Africa, I select South Africa. iTunes is now going to look for um, the South African iTunes store, which may take a few seconds. Uh, so let's wait together. Uh, by the way, the quality of the image might be a little crappy, but I'm uh, filming this with my iPhone. Um, so obviously the quality is not great. Okay, here we are. So we are in the South African iTunes store. Alright, uh, do we have more light in here? Okay. Um, so now what you want to do now is click on one of the top free applications. Sorry for too much light. Um, you want to click on one of the top free applications here. See this? Top free applications. So for the purpose of this tutorial I'm going to click on VNC. Okay. So by clicking here it opens a VNC um, application page on the iTunes store and um, now what I'm going to do I'm going to click on get app here. Okay, and now here is your problem. So if you don't have your iTunes account yet, uh, and again, the purpose of this is to create an iTunes account without a credit card, you want to have to create a new account. So let's go to create a new account. So you have a nice message, welcome to iTunes. So you click uh, continue. Okay, it's accessing the iTunes store. Terms of services, yes, I have read and agree to the iTunes terms and conditions. I click continue at the bottom. So now you're going to have to fill out your information. So uh, don't lie here. Um, don't lie about your email address. So I'm going to type, uh, for me, I'm going to type a fake email address because I've done that and I'm, I'm going to stop before the end of this tutorial. But um, Okay, give your right your correct email address, or else um, you're not gonna able gonna be able to activate it. Um, as Apple send you uh, a verification email to activate. So, uh, send a com. Okay, password is blah. Password is blah. Okay, question mom uh, name whatever. Fill this out. Uh, do you want to receive news? No, I don't. Continue. Okay, the email address you're under is already being used for an Apple <laughs> account. Okay. Okay. This one is probably not going to be used. 
Okay, question mom maiden name. So I see you can't really write your name. Okay. Continue. Alright, this is where it's important. Provide a payment method. So this is where you usually have to give your credit card information. But if you look here, uh, here, you get the option none. You see this? No payment method. So you could ask yourself, why did we have to go through this? Why can't I just click on any song or anything in the iTunes store and create a new account and do this? Well, because if you go through another way, you're not gonna get this none, no payment uh, necessary uh, button. Don't ask me why, I don't know why. Um, probably a little um, glitch in the iTunes, um, in iTunes, or I, I don't know, I don't know. But what I know is it's legit and it's here and we can um, exploit this little, um, this little thing. So again, you click none, and then you're gonna type your um, all your information here. Um, so you're gonna type your first name, your last name, your address, uh, your suburb. I guess it's something from for South Africa. Your postcode, phone number, and you're gonna click continue. Um, okay, now I am not gonna click continue because um, I already have my. Um, my iTunes account and I already did this this morning. So, but if you click continue, um, you would get, I'm gonna go back to my blog post. If you click continue, you would get one of these uh, messages saying verify your account. An email has, be, has been sent to the address below with a link to verify your account. Make sure to check your email and follow the link to complete your account sign up. So now go check your emails and you should see an email from Apple and if it's not in your inbox, it's probably in your spam folder. Uh, and this email from Apple tells you, dear fake first, fake last. That's the, f the fake names I used to create this fake account. Your, your iTunes store account has been set up with the following Apple ID. That's this. Uh, please click on the link, blah, blah, blah. So you click this link to activate your new iTunes account. And you're gonna see, it's gonna open iTunes and you're gonna see this. So now you can enter your um, login information, your email address and your password. And ta-da, voila, as we say in French, voila. Uh, your iTunes store account has been successfully created. Well, congratulations, you've done it. You haven't spent any dime. You haven't given your credit card information. You are now able to download free applications for your iPhone, iPod Touch. You are now able to download the free um, podcast and the free song of the week from, um, from iTunes. Um, that's about it. So again, for four detailed, I mean, I guess this video is pretty detailed, but you might be confused with my accent. Um, go to my blog, it's called iPhoneDownloadBlog.com and look for this post created on October 18th called Create an iTunes account without a credit card. If you can't find it, go in the iPhone facts section, FAQs, sorry, iPhone FAQs, and look for it, it's called Create an iTunes account without a credit card. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you do, please rate this video, uh, share it with your friends, and dig my uh, post on the blog. All right, thank you very much. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.